Guys, deluded, I'm back again, YouTube's Lucas Torreira. Um, for those who don't know, João Virginia, a young 18-year-old keeper who turns 19 in October, I believe, Portuguese youth international, signed from Benfica, is an under-19s Europeans Championship winner after Portugal, after extra time, um, defeated Italy in the final. And yeah, that was ironically his first game um, of the tournament, was in the final, and he done his thing. And he's a keeper I rate highly, and you lot should as well, man. So yeah, congratulations to him doing his thing on, on that on that basis. Um, that's Portugal's first at that level. Obviously, um, the heartbreak of losing out to England last year. A lot of them wounds have got settled. And obviously, he's been away from the club because he's competing here. And it's, we all know, long story short, you know, Emre's coming. Players that were casted off to the side under Wenger might be given a chance. Players that were given chances, told they can go. Many are changes at youth level and first team level. And changes all about the place. So... I'd have to, if I put myself into his shoes, I wonder what he's thinking because he had a great FA Youth Cup campaign and he was actually good all season for me um, at youth level. The next step for him is to assert himself within the under 23 sides and make the step up there full time. I don't know if he's still eligible to play for the under 18s next season um, um, because of um, him turning 19 in this campaign, but that's the next step. Now he's going against Ilev, um, those who don't know, 23 year old Bulgarian slash Macedonian keeper. He recently signed the new deal going to turn 24 in February, you'd probably like to think with him and Macy, the time for him to move on is to go and get goal, is, is to move on and get games and develop as a, as a footballer rather than be 23 years of age, still within an under-23 setup of sorts. But if we relate it back to academy level, um, from a selfish point of view, it probably blocks the pathway of, of Jao Virginia and a couple others. But it gives the keeper, it gives the immediate under-23 team, a team where, where they have an experienced keeper, someone that's been around. From a selfish point of view, I can see the benefits of both sides. So, Jao Virginia needs to step up into the under-23s and assert himself in that. And there's been a lot of goalkeeping changes. Macy's gone out on loan. Martinez is still at the club at this moment in time. So is Czech um, um, and things like that. We've seen Cato, Hodar, Crane, a couple young keepers depart the club, which it did look like we were stockpiling keepers. And to a degree, you could still say the case is the same at this club. But yeah, man, Jao Virginia hasn't hidden the secret of him wanting to play in the first team. I mean, if you look at his interviews a couple of a couple of months ago, he said he's ready. He said Ospina is is a bit shaky, and well, didn't say that, but I can't remember what he said. But he definitely said Czech is getting on a bit. He definitely feels he can step up, and he was training with the first team and things like that. Personally, I hope that continues continues under Uno Emre because I do think he's a very good keeper. Um, in the game he was called upon against for, for Italy in the final, he wasn't perfect, but he showed he's a good keeper. FA Youth Cup, when Chelsea battered us, in fact, throughout the whole FA Youth Cup, he was decent. When Chelsea battered us, for me, if you're looking at it, there's probably about, off the top of my head, in the two games, there's probably only about three, maybe four players, if I include Amici, that could leave that pitch known with their heads held high. It would be Jao Virginia, Emma Will Smith to a degree, even though they kept him quiet. My man, like I've just said, and Vontae Daly Campbell. Um, so yeah man, I really believe in this guy, I don't want to say it could be similar to Chesney because I do believe he's slightly behind in his development but I do think his development could accelerate quicker than people think I do um, I do believe he should be in the couple, next couple of years, 18 months or so, it's decisive in his development if he does stay at this club his contract runs up in 2019 and if we look at the current thread of how players have been going he's going to be sold or he's going to depart the club which would, might not be a bad thing for his development but I really believe in him man, he's, he's got good shot stopping, he's good playing with the ball at his feet, his distribution's good, he's good at tipping the ball over the, the line, he's very strong, probably could improve on timing, um, timing when to come off his line at times, I think he's a bit slow in that department, obviously as he gets older he's going to need to be more commanding and things like that, I've got a lot of time for him and again the next 18 months are very decisive for him because we don't know, Ospina looks to be gone, Martin, as you don't know what's going to happen there, um, if Ospina leaves this year, you'd like to think at best this is Czech's last year, who knows, so there could be a bit of changes, and he said he wanted to become the third choice keeper um, when Wenger was still in charge, so he's, he's very much on course to do that, man, I really, from a selfish point of view, I'm happy that he won the under-19s championship, but part of me did want him to stay and being amongst the team, because I do think Uno Emery would probably nod, um, take him with him instead of Macy or something like that. Um, having said that though, I don't entirely believe that because I'm getting thoughts in my head saying the experience thing. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, he's hidden no secret of wanting to get into the first team. You guys know I rate him highly. This next season is going to be decisive because like I said, his contract's up in 2019. He's got a lot to consider this season to be fair with you. So yeah, man. Congratulations for winning that tournament. Hope you come back with your head held high and I hope you replicate your good form from the previous year. 
into this season as well, man. So, yeah, man, we'll see what happens in that regards. But as for now, guys, deluded. Get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out.